In this video, we'll be making a Chrome extension that can change the co background color of a page, can rotate a page, and can rotate a page in 3D. All right, to get started, you can see I've already downloaded all of the icons that we're going to need uh, for this Chrome extension. I'll have a link in the description with that and the code as well. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file called manifest.json, and this will contain the configuration for our extension. I'm going to copy in the manifest and I'll paste it in. And this is the important one of the important sections. These are the icons, and you can see their names are right here. This is the uh, icon that will be displayed when we pin it uh, to our toolbar right here on the top right. And then this popup.html is what will be displayed when we click on that extension. And I'll have a, a link with all the permissions and all of what they do because they're required to build this extension. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in popup create a popup.html file and we'll just create an HTML5 and we'll save that and let's just make sure everything's working. So I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna to go to Chrome colon slash slash extensions and what you can see is right now I am in developer mode. So yours will look like this. So if you go to the top right of your screen and toggle on developer mode, you'll see this thing called load unpacked. So that's what we want. So go ahead and click on that and then navigate to the folder where your Chrome extension is. Mine is in background-yt. I'm going to select, and you can see my extensions right here. So notice this manifest does stuff with the background, does stuff with the background, a background changer, background changer. So you can see all that right there, and you can even see the version, which is 1.0.0. So all that's working, which is great. So now if I go here and I click on this pin, you can see um, it's right there, and we don't have anything in our index.html. It's an empty file, which is why we're not seeing much. So let's put some stuff in there. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill out the HTML that we're gonna need. So let me do that, but before I do that, let me make this a little bit bigger. And what you'll see is there's an H2 background color, color input. This range will create a slider input. Uh, the minimum value would be zero. The max is 360 because there's 360 degrees in a circle. And this is what we're using to rotate. So if I click this, you can see this is what it looks like. Let's style it up just to make it look a little nicer. So I'm just going to use a style tag because that's easy to do. But you could also use a style sheet if you wanted. And you can see that looks a little bit better. Okay. So now that we have that, the last thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a script um, with a popup.js and then we'll create a popup.js file. So we can't just use like a JavaScript tag in the HTML and just write JavaScript there. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to import or we're going to need to create three variables. These will contain our HTML elements and that's what EL stands for. Um, the next thing we'll do is we're going to create a function and we're going to call that function inject CSS and that'll take in a CSS variable that we're injecting. Then we're going to query the Chrome, uh, query Chrome for uh, tabs, the active tab. So we'll say chrome.tabs.query and then I'll pass in active true and current window true. The second argument it'll take will be the actual callback that will return all the tabs that we found. We, are, we only care about the first tab uh, for sanity. We'll just make sure that that tab exists. So if it doesn't exist, we'll just return. Okay, so now that we know we have a tab, we can, um, we can actually inject. So this is the inject part. So this is where the Chrome actually changes. It's API, uh, so it's called scripting. Sorry about that. Dot insert CSS, and then we'll pass in an argument with CSS, and then target, and then this will be tab ID, and then tab dot ID. So that should allow us to inject CSS in the script. So it finds the active tab and injects that CSS. You could pass an optional callback. We're not going to do that. And I did make a mistake. This should actually be tab. 
because we're just pulling the first tab. So this will contain a list of tabs, but because we're doing this uh, syntax, it won't. The uh, Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, please ask in the comment section. So the next thing we'll do is we'll do a color EL, and we're going to add an input, and then we're going to do callback, and then we can just use our inject CSS property, and I'm going to use templating strings. And what's cool about this is that it really does look like just regular CSS. So I can say background dash color, and then I can go here and just say color el dot value, and then hash, and then important to make sure that it sticks and save that. So that should just allow us to change the color. Let's see if that works, and that does, which is awesome. So now what I can do is I can copy this. Go down here, we'll paste it in, and this time instead of color EL, we'll do rotate EL. So we'll do that, and we gotta change up this CSS property. So instead of background, we'll say transform, and then we'll do rotate. And then we instead of color EL, we want uh, rotate EL's value. And rotate, we need to do a degree, so we say DEG. So in theory, we do this we can rotate the page which is awesome so the last one we need to do is rotate 3d so let's make sure we get those variables right bam bam and then it's three lowercase d and it's one comma one comma one comma oops let me undo that I don't know why I did that and we'll save that, make sure that looks good. And then if we rotate 3D, we should be able to do that. So that looks really good. So that's how you make a Chrome extension. I uh, hope you all have a great day. If you have any feedback or you want to, uh, any other videos on Chrome extensions or any other videos, please let me know. Uh, I look forward to hearing your feedback. Uh, sorry that I did not listen uh, when you guys were complaining about the errors. I will be more attentive and more trusting next time. So that was uh, totally my fault. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you on the flip side.